Now into the next uh, final. It's between. Uh, it's in the men's under 100 kilo category. That's 15 stone, 10 pounds. It's between Trono of France and Inoue Kose of Japan. Inoue, current world champion, beat Jang of Korea in the final of the 99 Worlds. Trono, a veteran, 34 years old. He's been uh, fighting for a long time. He was European champion a number of times, four times in the early 90s. Uh, fifth in the world in 99. Uh, first uh, in Europe last year when he beat Nastula of Poland. Nastula of Poland uh, looking to be declining slightly. But two very experienced uh, fighters here. Youth is on the side of Inoue of Japan. But Trono, extremely experienced. With that, uh, he's got the high overhand grip and the, there's Yamashita, the great Yamashita of Japan, the Japanese coach. Helping in a way from the side, so uh, British referee there. Cautioning uh, Trono for his uh, gripping. So you can see the deep, high over the top grip, and in a way he's having uh, a few problems with that. And he's just uh, climbing up on the ground. But that's uh, tactics on the ground in a way. If you hit the deck, just uh, tuck everything in, protect your arms, protect your neck. The referee's not going to allow you very long down there, so you've only got to survive a few seconds if, uh, if you happen to be underneath. So, strong grip in there, very upright posture from in a way, as opposed to the Frenchman, who's uh, very uh, bent over there. There's an attempt at a Sumigaishi-type attack. Dropped down, looked like he was going for a stomach throw, but then hooked in between the legs and tried to turn... Uh, Japanese over, looking for the arm lock there. And the knee goes over the top. The right uh, the knee of the white judogi, Trono's knee on this side. Leverage position for the rollover and into the arm lock. So anyway, uh, fighting hard, Trono. Getting sticky back. There's an attempt at a leg grab, and look at that. What a technique. But what are the referees going to give it? That looked uh, pretty conclusive to me. Now, that was extremely neat, and that certainly dropped uh, Trano to the ground with uh, considerable force, and that's the definition. Let's watch this one. In a way, turns, opens his chest out, turns, rolls. Look at that. Trano gets his hand down, but then look at that. Drops, well, not quite on his back, on one side. So it's, it's got to be largely on the back, but all the other elements of the throw that were there. So it wasn't going to count as an ipom. Well, that's very strictly according to the rules there. Gets a Yuko for that. Would have been a spectacular end to this particular match, but uh, we've seen now what Inoue is capable of. Got that tremendous turn, throws his head back, opens his chest out, turns and then launches him into space. Ouchi attack there. Trano looks as though he's been a bit weakened uh, by that heavy throw. There's another attack. In a way, lost the grip there as he turned in, couldn't quite turn. Trano, if, you've got to, if you lift them up, you've got to be able to turn them in the air in order to drop them on their back. And of course, fighters will attempt to break the grips even though they're sailing through the air. They'll try and smash the opponent's grips to stop the turn. Inoue looking uh, lively now, throws in her leg, tries to lift up. Uchimata came to nothing. So Inoue now in the lead with that Yuko, that's a five-point score. Level five, if you like. Ten points wins there and then. Seven-point level was Ari. Two of those is an outright win, but uh, five-point level scores. Any number of those do not accumulate. Neither does the scoring level below. Slightly complicated judo scoring, but uh, it's been around a long time. So, Trano certainly uh, seemed to throttle back after that uh, very heavy throw. And uh, in a way then uh, seemed to uh, have a little lease of life on that. Been trying hard for most of the match anyway, but he's come back on a bit stronger, feeling a bit more confident. 
very uh, upright classical fighter there's some uh, leg att attempts there and Trano looking very messy there turns in drops both hands to the ground and uh, entangles in a way between his legs so can uh, in a way do the big turn get the ip on but this time unlike the last time land uh, Trano flat on his back Certainly exciting final this, especially after that uh, previous throw. It was only given a Yuko by the judge there, the referee rather, Marion Woodard of Great Britain. So a warning there against Inouye. So that's starting to level the scores up a bit. Although Inouye's... There's another look at that! Well, that was a Nippon there, was dropped in on the right, spins Traino over for a Nippon. That's what judo's all about. Coach there, Yamashita, look, looking as though he just uh, was waiting for that to happen. So there, in a way of Japan, beats Traino with that lovely shoulder throw. Traino takes the silver. Bronzes go to Bagdasarov of Uzbekistan and Nastula of Poland. And the... Decision, not the decision. The victory goes to Inouye of Japan for that classical throw at the end against Trano. So let's watch that one again. There's the drop through, and then the lift, and there, over and down, and no hesitation from the referee. Watch that one again. Look at that nice drop. Not quite down onto two knees, but it was a twist and a drop down. One leg slightly higher than the other. Yamashita in the background there, indicating the Ippon. So there it goes now. From that low position, he lifts, continues to lift and turn. And that drops Treno on the ground. So it was nice when uh, these finals are finished by a conclusive Ippon. Well, that was a tough category, that one. Uh, as indeed they all are tough. Well, the medal table at the end of this event is Japan in the lead with four golds and one silver. France with three golds and five silvers. China with two golds. Five nations with one gold. Uh, Cuba, Korea, Netherlands, Belgium and Brazil. Uh, Great Britain took one bronze. That was Michelle Rogers and two fifth places with Georgina Singleton and Simon Callender and Buchanan got knocked out in the repertoire. So as far as the medal table goes, it looks like a return to the pre-99 World Championships. But uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back shortly, we hope, with some more judo. Bye for now, and take care.